Friends and family gathered to remember lives cut short, a sense of hope for some on news of three arrests this afternoon. Good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Chiodo. Thanks for joining us. Happening locally live at five new developments in Omaha's latest homicide investigation. We've been following this case. Two teenagers were gunned down outside the Ernie Chambers apartments. That's near 16th and Burdett. This was back on Wednesday. Now today, three teenagers are behind bars. The youngest is Kovacie Sims. He is just 15 years old, charged with first degree murder. Murder. Warren Anderson is 18. Martin Anderson, just 17 years old. The cousins are charged with accessory to commit a felony. Our Aaron Murray is at a prayer vigil right now at that scene. She continues our coverage live. Hey, Aaron. Joe, that's right. Friends and family of Brandon Phelps and James Starr are just starting to show up right now here at Ernie Chambers Court. They are here for a prayer vigil tonight. Those two teens found shot to death in an SUV on Wednesday. But actually, just hours ago, police did announce that they have arrested the teens they believe to be behind the horrific crime. Omaha police detectives worked 48 hours straight, but they believe they now have in custody the people who killed teenagers James Starr and Brandon Phelps. Booked on two counts of first-degree murder, 15-year-old Corvassier Sims was picked up late Wednesday night. Cousins Warren Anderson and Martin Anderson were arrested Friday on accessory charges. But a twist in the case may bring about more information on another homicide. Homicide detectives have determined that the Ford Explorer recovered in this homicide is the same vehicle that was involved in the homicide of Jonathan Johnson on November 28, 2015 at 44th and Spaulding. Um, at this time, it's been determined that this was not retaliation. Friends of Johnson saying Thursday night, the connection brings hope. Any lead is a good lead. You know, as I just one step closer to finding out who did it. I really do hope we find out who it was. Police do say even though the SUV is the same, they do not believe the different murders to be connected. It is, however, shocking the age of the suspected gunman to be just 15 years old. Unfortunately, it's a, a trend that we've been seeing and it's very unfortunate. And I mean, all we can do is call for our community to act together against gang violence and against the young recruiting of these teenagers. Now, right now, Sims is being charged as an adult. That is because under the new Nebraska law, he is not required to be charged as a juvenile. That would be for anyone 14 years and younger. But, Joe, that doesn't mean that those adult charges couldn't change depending on court proceedings and evaluations. Yeah, certainly they still could change. My question, uh, they talked about the relation to that November 28th murder of Jonathan Johnson. Wondering, are there any new leads after this? Could there be arrests because of these new developments? Well, that's what police are hoping that with this, that they could have new leads that could lead to arrests. But right now they have not made any and they are encouraging the community with any information on the November 28th homicide to call Omaha Crime Stoppers. All right, we'll continue to stay on top of this. Aaron Murray reporting live tonight. Aaron, thank you very much.